Yo, I'm Loser Chase. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dishonored 2. Please like and subscribe. You can also click the bell to get notified when I post new videos. I also live stream on Twitch. The link is in the description down below. Thank you for the support. Let's do this. Alright, another strange visit. Journal's not here, so we're definitely... Yeah, we're back in the void. The void, but somehow different this time. Delilah. So I can pull you into this place. The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? games in the tower, but at night I'd go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spymaster caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me what you did? We were just playing. Yeah, well, you just... What is your account? It was her! Delilah's lie! She broke it. If that's true, that's kind of messed up. Ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for I was crafty even before the outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! The sentence is served and shall be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. To know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard to tell if it's she's telling the truth or not there. When I saw what they'd done to Anton Sokolov, I wanted to hurt everyone who'd helped Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos pull off their coup. Sokolov is the man who made whale oil into a weapon, who turned back the plague. And now he's barely able to speak. The hands that painted the most powerful men and women of our time shake too badly to hold a spoon. 
When he does talk, he's going to give me a name. The next step along the way to Dugluka Abel, then Delilah herself. A name. That's all I need. I'm with you, even in the void, if only I could do more. Mother? That wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I to blame for Delilah's bitterness? All this is her doing, and she'll die for it. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight, and I feel, feel my time, time drawing to an end soon. Let's see, let's check out the journal real quick. Sokolov is safe. I killed Kirik Jindash for abducting Sokolov, for working with the Lila and Duke Ebele, for his part in clockwork, for the part his clockworks played in the coup that took my throne, for the clockwork army the man was building. He may have been smart, but he wasn't invulnerable, not like Delilah. I imagine he was jealous of Sokolov for good reason. I suppose who cured the re I, I suppose who cured the rec plate? Who changed the world with machines fueled by whale oil once Esmond Rosenberg discovered the liquid power trapped there. In his paintings, genius isn't a word I use very often, but Sokolov deserves it. Speaking of the old goat, it's good to see him again, though he looks weaker than I expected, tired, and smaller than I remember. I hope that his great mind... I hope that... I hope that great mind of his is still working. And then we got Delilah in the Void. I dreamed of the Delilah Copper Spoon. No, this was more than a dream. I was in the Void. Somehow Delilah brought me there. I don't know if she was showing me the past or a fabrication. She spoke of my grandfather, Emperor Edhorn Jacob Caldwin. History says he was a man of honor who served his people, but Delilah showed me all his promises unfulfilled, all those easy lies. And she showed me my mother, Jessamine, as I never imagined her, spoiled and petty, and, and petty, entitled, and finally a great injustice to Lila's mother dying in Deptor's prison. I have so many questions, but how do I sort the truth from the lies? Spoon. Or is it Caldwin? These clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever men. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Emily did for me, freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try, Megan. And they kept me going after they gave me to Jindosh. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Emily. Ah, the Empress has risen. A peaceful sleep, I the hope. Royal Conservatory. This place was commissioned by my grandfather in my grandmother's name. Anton, you've had three days to rest. Tell me how to kill Delilah. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne and my father is missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other. But Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sirkonos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. Mm -hmm. 
By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of? Or what she's up to? Every closure of the conservatory. Due to an alarming increase in mite population and with the full knowledge and approval of Duke uh, Abelay himself, the Royal Conservatory will remain closed for the foreseeable future. Our apologies. One of the more elaborate structures in Karnaka closed to the public. More of the Duke's questionable rulership. Wake me when Karnaka starts to burn. What a painting that will make. Meet me at the skiff when you want to set out for the Royal Conservatory. Okay, I do believe I am ready. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Yes. Let's go. Number five, the Royal Conservatory. While held captive, Anton Sokolov learned the identity of one of Delilah's chief allies, Brianna Ashworth. An architecture of the cube that took the throne of Dunwall, Ashworth, is a powerful and full of secrets. Uh, she's building a mysterious device for Delilah. Brianna Ashworth must be eliminated. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. Oh, there are a lot of... a lot around. The Silver Spice. Palaces don't make kings. Because it reminds me of good times. But what's the point of buying wood from a country you never visited? Lady Shersha has money, so she gets the wood she wants. She you 
waitress down on the docks? You must have heard the stories about Pirate Betty. About all the terrible things I've done to the fools who refuse to give up some trinkets or a bag of coins. No, I've never heard one word about your exploits, but go on. What did you do to your marks? Give them a good tap on the nose? For shit's sake, why do you have to ruin everything? I played my part when I was the victim. How are we supposed to attract any suckers if you won't play along? You're the worst thug I've ever seen. Pirate Betty, my ass, you couldn't scare a seagull. <laughs> What a moving, tragic death. You're a far better actress than I am. <sighs> Something really stinks around here. And this dominate me. Anything up here? Okay, nothing else back here. I'll have a look over there. Okay, and that brought us all the way back around to here. There's a room down there, but I don't know how to get to it. Yeah. <sighs> 
Oh, there is a door right there. Du, 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 du. closed welcome to my shop say an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the royal conservatory check on them if you're headed that way i check myself but the streets are locked down i'd make it worth your time i'll think about it see anything you like come in my friend always a delight to see you ah you want blueprints for better weaponry Nah, we don't need those. I've got a lot of money. I'll go ahead and just buy that. Safe combination. Certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. <laughs> Farewell, and do take care out on the streets. What? Why, why do you cover your face? What do you want? Oh, I, I'm sorry. Please take a look around. Overseers. I'm not going to worry about them at all.
Look at you. Leaving a trail of bloody boot prints across this dying city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society. Forced to win some bloated baker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But, just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. Mm. It was all highways and graveyards after that. Never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission. Protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well. Ooh, those are fighting words right there. Okay. I've got five. Uh, five things that we can upgrade. Five runes. I got five runes. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What is this? Uh, bull's enemies? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get, uh, Shadow Walk. Improve Shadow Attack. Let's go ahead and get this. Lucky Needle. So your slight chance to recover sleep darts.
wonder if I can go through here to get to the assistant. I don't think I can. No, it's all blocked off. Inside the Royal Conservatory. And he did it. No questions, no complaints. Karnaka needed miners, and he produced them. Out of thin air. That's the Sakaran That's what we need. Huh? It's not my job to clean up. Miss that. Okay, what was the safe code 437?
no way that way. Uh, what if I go back over here? Nah, I just see rats. There's a bunch of guards around, like a lot. What's that smell? Is it the fountain? Yeah, the water gets nasty sometimes. It flows from the fountain to the conservatory basement. Dude, there was work being done, so there's a great piece of Maybe some animal fell in there and died. Disgusting. You'd think someone inside the conservatory would complain. The place is mostly shuttered, but somebody's still inside. There was a delivery from Jindosh Clockworks a few days back. Whatever they're doing, I'd be happier if the gate wasn't so close to that fountain. That was close. I'd hmm. I have a new assignment for one of your for one with your unique talents. I'd like you to retrieve the old Roseboro prototype on display at the Royal Conservatory. It's likely well protected, but I'll but I'll double the finder's fee. Bring it back to me at the shop. Let's see here. Undertaker. Move slowly fast while carrying your body. Alright guys, that's where we're going to end the video for the day. Thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave it a like. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. You guys can also watch me live over on Twitch. The link is in the description below. Thanks again for all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.